folks, and welcome back to another Wise Game video. I know it's been about two weeks since I came out with my last video, but to be truthfully honest with you, I've been kind of stuck in between games, trying to find games that I really enjoy playing again. Uh, Japanese RPG games and also MMOs, but a lot of them are just off the beaten path lately of what I enjoy in those kind of games. So I decided on, um, if you've watched my other videos, I have been playing World of Warcraft for quite a few years, since 2006 actually. And I did some research, I wanted to see if any private servers was back up. The reason being is because Legions is just not really tickling my fancy anymore. And the main topics why is, number one, I like playing with guilds. I like playing with an active guild. I like doing things with the same people that I know, in voice, and banging things out and having a good time. And right now, World of Warcraft, to me, in Legions, is more of a solo game. Because they made it now where you could just queue up for things, use group finder, nobody knows who each other is, tanks are three rooms ahead of you in a raid, they don't give a shit anymore, nobody really works together as a team. Now, I'm not talking about all guilds, I'm sure that there's still some big guilds out there, but they're very few and far in between, compared to the way the game used to be when it forced you basically where you had to have other players that to me is what makes the bulk of an MMO and another thing is RNG I can't stand RNG games give me vendors give me vendors somebody I could plan on that I know that if I cap my tunes that week I'm definitely going to get an upgrade not this luck luck stuff you know because I've gone two weeks capping my arenas and things like that and never got an upgrade but yet I could be out in a quest doing something that's just kind of lame and boom, here comes a legendary. Nah, nah, that's not the way World of Warcraft used to be. So I'm not knocking it for everybody because for people that don't enjoy playing with guilds or they don't have the time to or the commitment, then Legions is definitely your kind of game. You know, so, uh, so anyways, what we're going to discuss in this video today is the private servers. I did end up searching around to see if there's any old school private servers back up and there is and that's what I'm on right now this is the burning crusade again and it's on a private server called hellfire I'm not really sure where the server is located it's either I heard either in Germany or Sweden or something like that but it is not it is not North American so um, I'm gonna go over some of the uh, some of the uh, details that I know about this server if you're interested in, in uh, playing on the Burning Crusade server. So I did already say that it is the Burning Crusade on the server called Hellfire either in Germany or Sweden and it came out in March, uh, March 31st 2017 so it's really fairly new which is nice because the excitement is there uh, there's plenty of players but they're getting more players as, as the time goes on, as more people are finding out about this server. So, and so far it's been a pretty stable operation for me, as far as crashes go and things like that. I really have not had any technical difficulties or issues with this game at all. I've been playing it now for maybe about a week, and I'm also playing on the vanilla private server too called Elysium Project. So I'm playing between the two of us, and then I'm going to make my final decision which server I want to actually concentrate on and which game uh, I want to concentrate on and then take it from there. The Burning Crusade, to me, was one of my favorite x packs of all times. I just loved it. Uh, playing a warrior in it, they were nice and strong towards the end. I did a lot of good PvP in it, did some PvE raiding with my old guild. It just has beautiful memories, perfect memories of this game was the Burning Crusade. Now as we can see right now, I'm still at a fairly low level. I'm at level 33 and that's why I have to walk everywhere because you don't get your first mount as we know back then until level 40. Okay, so let's go down and cover some of the main things about what's going on on the server because the servers can change the game a bit compared to when Blizzard had it and when it was on live 10 or 11 12 years ago they can make changes to the game so uh, we'll go over some of those changes and things that's going on right now with this server
Okay, the fir uh, one of the first things is all the world quests and bosses, world bosses like Hogger, quest type bosses, things like that, has all been nerfed three times. So in other words, 1 to 60, the game gets really fast, leveling up wise, and it's pretty easy. And you don't die like you do in the vanilla, uh, on the vanilla private server at those levels. You, you you gain levels pretty quickly. And the reason why they did that is to speed it up so you get from 1 to 60. And then once you're at level 60, well, level 58, I believe it is, you could start hitting the outlands. Now, once you start hitting the outlands, then the game's going to start toughening up again. And it's going to start slowing down because that's the current X pack that we're playing right here on this private server. The outlands was the main new hub that made the Burning Crusade. So, what they did also was for Alliance players, because more people are prone to play the Horde side on this game, because the Horde has better racials, as far as PvP goes and things of that nature. So to kind of lure more people into trying the Alliance side, they, they are giving us free mounts at level 40 which is really cool. Like, I don't mind working my ass off for something in these games, but trying to get 90 gold back in the day as a level 40 was almost totally impossible. When I found out the other day that I don't have to worry about that, it made me really start leveling up this guy a little more seriously. So I know in a couple of more levels, I'll be able to mount up, and it won't cost me a thing. Now, for Horde players, you do have a fee at, at level 40 to get your first mount, and it's 60 gold, from what I understand. That's still 30 gold cheaper than what the live game was 11, 10 years ago. Back then, it used to be 90, if I remember right. That's how much I paid for it anyways when I was playing on, on, on the Blizzard Live server. It cost me 90 gold. And the only reason why I was able to get it at level 44 was because I was out grinding, killing a bunch of mobs like these wolves in a bracer, in a, an elite br uh, bracer, or epic bracer dropped, and I sold it for 100 gold. And that's how I got my first mount. But what's the odds of that happening again? Probably like hitting the power ball. It's probably not going to happen. So, so that's, that's a good way of trying to get people motivated to try playing the Alliance side to kind of balance out world PvP and all that stuff more measurable. Uh, let's see here. What else, too, is I also want to mention to that most players and guilds or whatnot on these servers are from other countries. So that could be a little bit of a downfall as far as time zones go. As far as getting involved with a guild, if you want to raid with your guild, and you're in North America, and they're six, seven, eight hours ahead of you or behind you in time. So that is one main downfall that I'm starting to experience playing this. Because most of the guys in the guild I'm in, from what I understand, they're not from North America. Might have to see if there's another private server that's hosting the Burning Crusade and start all over again that's North America based you know so again that does mean a lot if you want to play with your guild again but the time zones do not match so that could be a little bit of a difficult task right there now I understand that there's somebody called Gummy he's pretty well known in the private server community and he is supposed to be coming out with a Burning Crusade private server anytime now, I don't know when he's going to be coming out with this server. I think it's in testing right now, where they're testing everything out, and he's still making fixes and stuff here and there from what I understand. But I heard anywhere from late this year of 2017 to early 2018. So, and again, that should be North American-based. That's, uh, that's one major thing that we... Uh, that we may have an issue with as far as these servers go right now because even the vanilla server I'm playing on I believe that that's EU also or in one of those countries I don't think it's North America based either so 
But anyways, folks, I just wanted to catch up with you guys. I know it's been a while since I came out with a video, but I did want you to know uh, about these private servers if you're feeling the way I am right now about the live game or you just don't have the money to support it. Again, keep in mind these private servers are free. And so far, I don't see any kind of pay-to-win going on or anything of that nature so far. You know, and I haven't heard anything like that. So it operates like the game always did years ago, with just a little bit of adjustments and tweaks here and there. And uh, but besides that, it, it feels good again to 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 start off not all glamorized with all the mounts and the novelties and all that stuff. It's just it's just basics again, and getting uh, you know getting from point A to point B in the game, and then what you decide on doing with your end game is totally up to you. But anyways, if you do want to check out this server, and I will probably be releasing a new video soon on the 60 game one also, I'll have the description to the Burning Crusade uh, server, that's it, <laughs> down in the description panel. So until then, folks, thanks again for watching Wise Gamer. You guys have a great day. I'd like to hear about your comments down below. Feel free to sub up, and we'll see you in the next time. Take care. Bye-bye.